bizarre stranger poked its snub nose into the city just to show Detroiters what the Union Pacific system is doing about streamlining its rolling stock. This three coach train that looks not unlike a yellow caterpillar has a maximum speed of 110 miles an hour and a cruising speed of 90, made possible by streamlining and decreased weight. The train is driven by a 600 horsepower V-type motor. The interior is done in golden brown tapestry with brilliant trim of aluminum. Makes you sort of want to go somewhere, doesn't it? Escorted by a detachment from the 2nd Infantry, stationed at Fort Wayne, a distinguished visitor to Detroit called on the mayor in City Hall, accompanied by Polish representatives of the American Legion. He is General Joseph Haller, Commander-in-Chief of the Polish armies in the World War, the impressive figure standing beside Mayor Frank Cousins. Since 1920, he has served as President of the Polish Red Cross. There's a girl who knows the ropes. The name is Mickey King, and the agile Michael did these expert turns for the Shrine Circus to the delight and wonderment of the wide-eyed beholders. Somehow it seems a strange method by which to earn a living. Still, that's one way to get up in the world, even though a few minutes later you have to come right down again. Now here's an easier way to reach the roof of the big top. All right, take her up. This trick of sort of throwing yourself away is said to be very difficult, in spite of the fact that it looks easy. I don't know, I never tried it. 114, 127, 151, will she never stop? Well, the answer is yes. And here's the smiling young lady herself, Mickey King. How's your Mickey? Dizzy? <laughs> the ice boaters require for their thrilling sport is ice and wind, and they've had plenty of both, no doubt about that. Out here on the frozen surface of Lake St. Clair, the breezes blow briskly. This pastime is considerably more strenuous than checkers, as you'd quickly discover if you were skimming along at 60 miles an hour, as these hardy boaters are. It's a pleasant sight any weekend as long as the ice holds up, with speedy ships sliding over the ice all the way from the Gross Point Yacht Club at the foot of Vernier Road up to and beyond the foot of Crocker Boulevard off Mount Clemens, a panorama miles long and with these winged craft on runners as far as two miles out on the frozen lake. Now here's the Elizabeth II whose pilots are Rex Jacobs and Frankie Center, the latter a veteran ice boat racer. Another well-known figure on the St. Clair ice is Russell Pouliot. And here's Joe Snay, skipper of the fleet Gossoon Second. Into town the other day strolled a group of Navajo and Pueblo Indians who sat down and gave a fascinating exhibition of their skill in the craft. That's Dina Slepeja, or something like that, who is making a swell picture by pouring sand of various colors into an intricate pattern. Of course, sand painting is much more fun on a windy day. The wood carver is Paul Hoyama, and he's making kachinas. Another visitor was Chief Evergreen Tree, whom we photographed last summer at the Chicago Fair. Do your stuff, Chief. This is the wolf call. This is given in the Indian ceremonial and dances. Oh. 